Hi guys, welcome back to Rudresh Reddy channel. Hope you all are fantastic. In this class, we are going to discuss about important data trace aggregate functions. Okay, these are very much useful when you are filtering the logs in the data trace. In today's class, I am going to discuss about some important data trace aggregate functions like count, countif, max, min, right, sum, and average. So these six are very much important. I will show you how to work with these. Commands, right? Let me connect to the Dynatrace console and show you one by one. Right now, I am in the logs and events section. If you execute this one, you are going to get the complete logs available in your environment based on the timestamp. But what I will do? I'll just run fetch logs. First, we'll start with count. So, how to take use of this count command in Dynatrace? Let me explain that. So, right now we have all the logs. Then we should go into the next line to go into the next line you should click on shift plus enter so that it will come down then you should put a pipeline symbol so that the data whatever coming from the fetch logs it will go to the next command so what we are doing we want to count the value for that we should use summarize okay in the aggregate functions summarize is very much important and in that what we are doing we want to count the value so how many how many values are available here for example in the logs you are able to see a big number of data right i want to see the count of it for that you should use count okay now if i run this one you are going to get the exact count how many values are available in the logs right now the count value is 1488 and it is completely depending on the time filter whatever we have selected here in case you change this value to last 24 hours then if you run this one the count will definitely change right now the count is 5130 okay so the total number of values present in the fetch logs is 5130 how you have achieved this one by using the count function then you want you want to count the function based on the uh, log level what do you mean by log level if i run this one let me show you that in the log level you have different information right info is there and if you come down you will find warnings and you will find error so many things will be there so i want to see what is the count of each of those how many warnings are there how many info how many error how to achieve that so that is also achievable by using this function i'll hit shift plus enter then i will put a pipeline symbol i want to summarize the things what I want to summarize, count, then by, so I want to summarize it by using log level information. So what it will do now, it is going to differentiate different logs and it is going to give the exact count of it. Okay, based on the log level, it will give the count. How sir, let me run and show you, I am clicking on run query are able to get the data okay you can see right we have a different different log levels in our environment debug is there error is there info is there none is there warning is there and corresponding count number also you are able to see i mean to say total number of debugs value is 86 errors are 10 info are 4900 none values are 2 and warning is 266 so how you are achieved by using the count then you are passed by here so it is going to differentiate by using the log level hope you understood how to take use of count so if you entered without providing this value it is going to give the entire information whatever the value available if you pass this information then it is going to give the separate value for the debug error info not only for this by by using this method you can filter however you want based on the requirement so right now we are in the table format you are able to see the data in this way suppose if you want to see it in the bar format then you should go to this section so you'll get the result in the bar format you can see right number of errors uh, debugs error info none error is almost like nil here nothing is showing here why because it is very negligible in number you can see right the total count itself is how many is there only 10 is there suppose if you reduce that value so you will see the different count. Now I have changed to last 30 minutes. I will run the query and this count will change now. And if you go to the bar again the graph will also 
change based on the inputs whatever you have provided i'll go back to table so these are the information i have debug info none warnings next i want to see only the you know warnings i don't want to see any other information apart from warning how to achieve that for that we should go to the next uh, function called countif what is the definition of countif it counts the number of records that match the condition so whatever the condition you provide based on that it is going to calculate the data so what is the meaning of it let me show that so i'll go back to the directory console again here i have provided count now i will change this value to count if so i am telling directory that count the value only when this particular condition is matched we should provide the condition here so if this condition is matched then only it will give the result so what condition we are looking now we are looking the condition that only warnings that is 65 i want to see this information how to achieve that we should provide here what is that log level equals to war okay i want to see this information so i have provided that let me run the query and see the results okay it is showing zero why it is showing zero let me put it in the single quotes or double quotes and run it okay now you are able to see that count is 65 and you are not interested to see the name in this format like whatever you are able to see right count log level it is looking something like odd for you you want to store this result in some variables like i want to see the information as a result so that's it and run the query again okay now it is good to see right total result is 68 how you achieved this one by using the count if condition understood right by using the count if condition we are able to get the exact data what we are looking for suppose if you want to see in the single value just click on single value you are able to see it result is 68 i will give one more example for this count if so let me remove this one then i want to see the content here like account was successfully logged in okay let me take one particular keyword called successfully okay copy this one i want to see the total count wherever that successfully logged in is there so wherever the word successfully is there i want to check that one i want to see the exact count summarize summarize count if okay let me remove this one it should be count if count if okay how based on the value contains the content successfully okay successfully so if this keyword is there i want to see the total count of it let me close it okay then put one more now everything is good so if i click on run query it is going to give the result of it so the total count is 17 means we could see the word successfully in the logs 17 times okay 17 times again if you want to see this information in a one particular value not like this count if all those things put the result as output just like in a variable equals to and then run it so that you are you are going to get the meaningful information okay hope you understood how to work with count and count if okay next we'll go for third aggregate functions that is max what max actually does it is going to calculate the maximum value of a field for the list of records in the records it is going to calculate which is the maximum one how it works let me show you that for that i'll take a different logs or events fetch okay events so that it will be clear for you guys it is not necessary like we should take always logs we can take other component also right now i'm checking with the events so is there any column which can give the value for us let me scroll right yeah so here we could see one column that is timeout so i want to see what is the maximum timeout value is available in this sheet so for that what you can do 
summarize maximum then pass the parameter name which parameter we are interested in timeout right so let me scroll right yeah this is the one dt dot davis dot timeout and if i run the query 20 so in the timeout section the maximum value taken by the synthetic browser is 20 millisecond or a second okay so that is how we can take use of the max so if you change it to last 365 days is there anything like that like apart from 20 is there anything which is beyond that no last 365 days also the maximum timeout value is 20 so one more thing is whether we get only the maximum value here is there anything to filter here also yes of course you can do that for example i want to filter it or segregate by using uh, what i can take let me take timestamp based on the timestamp i want to know what is the maximum timeout value run it so you are able to see right based on the timeout it is going to give the result for you okay so just for example i am saying it is not necessarily you should use these two uh, numbers or a timestamp names only you can take it based on the requirement okay you can apply the segregations in this manner also right like that you can also do it for the min function if you want to see the minimum value present in the list of record you can take use of min function how to achieve that simple thing just replace max with min that's it it's going to give the minimum value for you then we have two more aggregate function that is sum and average to deal with this one what i will do i'll create some records here like record like e equals to 10 then i'll create one more record that is record e equals to 20 okay like that you can add the value however you want if you want to add one more value that is also fine I'll create one more record e equals to 30 let me execute this and see the result okay now you got the result a d and 30 these three values are present here right then with the help of this one we can deal uh, about the aggregate functions very easily now what i will do i will pass this result i want to summarize okay i want to summarize this one based on sum let me execute so we should get the value 60 here yes you got it like it is going to sum the value whatever present in the records 10 20 30 total value is 60 like that if you want to see the average value of it that is also simple you can take use of the aggregate functions called avz avz indicate average average value of 10 20 30 how much 20 am i correct and then 30 so divided by 3 total value is 60 divided by 3 3 ones are 3 twenties are so what is the average 20 how much we received here 20 so our calculations are correct so like this you can take use of the aggregate functions in your environment based on the requirement and you can take use of other our aggregate functions here also for example you want to see the count so simple close it and run this one so we'll get the value 3 here now because the count is 3 1 2 3 10 20 30 right you received the value 3 like this you can deal with your aggregate functions depending on the requirement not only min sum average max count if you can have the lot many other aggregate functions also depending on the requirement you can take that for example you can have the average i already discussed you also have the collect array one more function is called collect array what it does it is going to collect the values provided by the provided field into an array the original order of the element is not guaranteed 
so you'll get the detailed information also how it works if you want to see that one you can copy this one and run it in environment you will get the idea if you want to see the distinct also that is available and then correlation related is also available count we discussed count distinct this function is in an alias of count distinct approx function okay what it is going to do you are able to see that information here so you have the count distinct exact also available count if is available max is available median is available min is available like that many more uh, aggregate functions are available so in our uh, real time environment we may get requirement of using these functions so i have given just a overview how you can deal with these kind of aggregate functions if you want to read more about this one i am going to face this particular link in the you know uh, description box you can click on this and read more about dql functions right so hope you got some idea how to deal with uh, dql functions thank you so much for watching till the end and bye for now